What's up everybody? I'm Ashley Jenkins and those cheeky monkeys at Deep Silver and Volition have taken aim at today's release of GTA 5 with their own Gat 5 DLC pack for Saints Row 4, referencing their game character Johnny Gat and they're giving it away free on Steam today only, while it remains $2.99 for both PS3 and Xbox 360. It's some comfort for PC gamers who are still waiting for Rockstar to announce GTA 5 for that platform. The DLC adds additional character outfits, a heavy machine gun, and a knife launcher. The free offer expires at 3 a.m. Eastern Time tonight, that's midnight Pacific, so if you're playing Saints Row on PC, make a priority of downloading it immediately. Speaking of things ending, Blizzard has announced they plan to shut down Diablo 3's auction house next March. They say that the initial idea was to provide a convenient system for trades, but it's become clear the buying and selling of items undermines the core gameplay the Diablo series is known for, which is to kill monsters and loot stuff. Their hope is that the Loot 2.0 system, which is in development with their Reaper of Souls expansion, will provide a better experience for gamers. The expansion doesn't currently have a release date beyond a vague 2014, but does the specificity of a March 18th shutdown for the auction house point to when we might expect the new content? Moving to TV and, well, book news, George R.R. Martin has hinted that he might take inspiration from Breaking Bad's Walter White to introduce a new character to the Song of Ice and Fire series, or as TV viewers know it, Game of Thrones. He took to his blog to sing the praises of Breaking Bad's kick punch of an episode this week, going so far as to say there are no monsters to rival Walter White in Westeros, and he'd like to fix that. Martin has hopes that the Game of Thrones series will give Breaking Bad a run for its money in the Emmys, which take place this weekend. But he acknowledges that Breaking Bad is the clear favorite of the two. He believes if there's any season for a fantasy series to garner Emmy accolades, it would be this one, with all the weight of the Red Wedding behind it. But it's an uphill battle for sure. And on to movies, where Ben Affleck has broken his silence on the internet backlash that followed the announcement of his casting as Batman in the upcoming Man of Steel sequel. Even with the studio having shown him the outrage previous casting announcements had gotten, he thought he could handle it, but almost immediately, he reconsidered and wisely decided to take a break from the internet. Still, it hasn't shaken his confidence in the role. He says he believes he has a lot of opportunities, but he doesn't want to disclose what they are because he doesn't want to give too much away. But he has acknowledged that he won't try to follow in the footsteps of the most recent movie trilogy, which starred Christian Bale in the main role, and that director Zack Snyder wants to do something a bit different. And that's it for the news today. Shout out in the comments below how you feel about the Saints Row DLC, the Diablo Auction House, Martin's thoughts on Breaking Bad, and Affleck's turn as Batman. And make sure you check out RoosterTeeth.com for more of our videos. Perhaps we could interest you in our Game of Thrones or Breaking Bad spoiler casts.